Hello everyone and welcome back to Kayla's Corner. In today's video, I'm going to be showing y'all how I turned these wooden nightstands that I got from Ikea into some blinged out mirror nightstands. I got this idea from April B here on YouTube and her information is on the screen if you want to go check her channel out. So what I'm doing now is just using the white spray paint to spray paint basically the borders or the parts of the nightstand that are going to show. So this big border and then I'm going to go around and paint only the sides of the top and only the sides of the side if that makes sense. If not you'll see what I do in a second. So the same way that I painted the dressers, I'm also going to spray paint the drawers. And you're only painting the sides of them because the mirror is going to cover up everything else. So it would kind of be wasteful of paint to spray paint the whole thing. You can if you want to, but it's really not necessary. I ended up running out of white spray paint but I myself do a lot of DIY projects so I did have some white paint laying around and honestly I like this white paint better than using the spray paint. I don't know the white just looks more rich it just looks more like finished and clean so what I did was basically go over the spray paint with this regular white paint. Um, I think I did about two coats. The painting took no time. It dries super quick. I'm not sure if it was just the paint that I had and the spray paint that I had or if it's the wood that makes it dry quick but it didn't take long and this is what the nightstands look like after they have been dried and painted. Now it's time to glue the mirrors onto the nightstands. I didn't know how to open this stuff up so I thought I would show you all because I had to look it up. So if you buy a caulk gun and you have this caulk, you just insert it into that little hole and press the trigger down to cut it. After you've done that, what you're going to do is take this little pointy thing and pull it out and stick that into the little hole because that's what's going to puncture, puncture it and allow the adhesive to come out. And then you just put the adhesive into the little holder and voila. The rest is very simple. What you're going to do is basically just apply the adhesive to the back of the mirror, flip the mirror over and put it onto the nightstand, place it where you want it apply some pressure and then you just allow the mirrors to sit for 24 hours. Now be careful with this because glass or mirror doesn't cut clean so the edges are kind of like rickety so you can cut yourself. My hands were like so cut up because I wasn't paying attention to really like the edges of the mirror so just be mindful of that. To hold the mirror in place while it's drying, you're just going to need some nylon clips and it's also going to help to apply pressure. Now that I've done the tops, I'm just going to repeat the same process with all six drawers and then the sides of the nightstand. So now it's time to put the acrylic knobs down. Before I glued the mirror down, I did measure where they had placement for the wooden knobs and I just took that same measurement for the acrylic knobs which were 4 by 6 so I'm just going to use that same measurement to glue down the acrylic knobs. So 
so to attach the knobs i'm going to be using e6000 glue it's the same glue that i used for my diy vanity tray and none of the crystals have fallen off yet so this glue is really well works really well but it has a really strong stinky smell but it gets the job done all of the mirrors have been attached, all of the knobs have been attached, they have sat for 24 hours. You guys do not touch these, let them sit for 24 hours because you'll think it's dry and it's ready to be put up but it's really not, it hasn't cured all the way yet. But it's time to clean them off so that I can finish putting the nice stands together. So this is what the nightstands look like after they have been completely finished. I'm very happy with the way this project turned out, especially since it's very, very affordable. It's a really easy project. Anybody should be able to accomplish this look. As always, I want to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see and talk to you all in my next one.